For more, let's bring in health analyst John Campbell. He joins us from Carlisle in the UK. Hello, John. Different restrictions are coming back. The Netherlands has just gone back into lockdown. Other countries like Germany are tightening travel restrictions for people coming from high-risk countries like the UK. But what is more effective? Well, these lockdowns, all they're going to do is delay the progress of, of this Omicron variant because it's in every country in Europe already. So even though the Omicron levels in Germany at the moment are quite low, it is there, probably two, three percent of cases. So all this is going to do is delay things by a small amount of time. Basically, everyone in Europe needs to be ready to be infected or, or exposed at least to Omicron in the next few weeks. It's dividing so quickly, spreading so fast. The R value in the UK is probably between between three and five at the moment. So it's coming everywhere. So what we need to do, I feel, is use the time to be as prepared as possible. Now, governments are launching booster campaigns, vaccination campaigns, and that's correct. But I also need to think, we need to think about ourselves as well. So what are our zinc levels? What are our vitamin D levels? Because we know vitamin D is important for immunity and we get it from the sunshine. And this time of year in Northern Europe, unfortunately, we don't get any sunshine. Mm -hmm. And getting plenty of sleep, getting some exercise, all these things are going to be important when we are exposed to the virus. And then we can be hopeful that the vast, vast majority of people will get a, no symptoms at all or a very minimal set of symptoms. Mm. Uh, that's interesting practical advice you're giving there. Uh, I mean, you mentioned it earlier, some virologists are even calling for a herd immunity approach. Could that be the way mm. to go, you think? There's some science that's starting to demonstrate this. So there's some research out of Hong Kong that shows that the Omicron virus replicates very much in the upper respiratory tract rather than in the lungs. And this means there's going to be an awful lot of the virus around and people are going to be exposed. Now, every time someone's exposed to the virus, they will generate an immune response that will improve their immunity. So as, as millions of people, tens of millions of people in the next few weeks in Europe are going to be exposed to the virus, then, then that inevitably means that community or herd immunity is is going to be increased. The problem is that there's going to be so many cases in such a short period of time that even if a tiny, tiny fraction of people do get ill, that could be a lot of people getting ill all at the same time. So that is the risk. But the mm. good outcome of this is by about February, probably everyone in Europe will be exposed and their immunity will be increased. Mm. And there is real hope that this could cause very widespread herd immunity this time. Okay, a quick one on this. Uh, will we need new jobs, say, every couple of months to adjust to new corona variants? Well, let's hope not, because that's not really a practical way ahead. But the German government has just ordered 80 million doses of Omicron-specific vaccine in case it's needed. But I'm really hopeful that this sort of herd immunity that's developing will take over and make, the, make this particular Omicron variant like the other four common cold so, um, coronaviruses that we already have, because we have coronavirus infections all the time. It's just that this is a new type of coronavirus. So we're hoping that this will blend back down into the sort of end Endemic viral ecosystem that I'm afraid we all live in. Okay, let's keep hope alive. Health analyst John Campbell, mm. thank you. Thank you, Eddie. Let's take a look now at.